All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Follow in the Philippines. It's Friday afternoon, 4.15 p.m. And just a, an update on what we are going to do this weekend, Melanie and I. We're heading down to Batangas with the Rush Riders. We're going to the cities of Alitagtag and Balayan. And you're going to see that. I'll put some map references up so you guys can see where we're going. We're going down there to help out with the relief effort for those who have been displaced by the Ta'al volcano eruption. Um, as far as I know, these two places are evacua uh, evacuation uh, areas that we're going to. And we're going to help out with the relief effort. And um, we're leaving at about... We're supposed to leave headquarters at midnight tonight. That's from uh, Bagong Silong. And we're going to uh, ride down to... Uh, I think we're going to Alatagtag first. I'm not sure. But uh, everything that I've read says a lot of the roads are closed going down that way. So I hope that we're able to make it down there. Uh, I guess we'll see. I'm not going to be able to moto vlog. It's, uh, most of the riding is going to be at night because we're leaving at midnight. Uh, the latest information from the website of, uh, of FIVOLX, which is the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, the Taal Volcano Bulletin for the 24th of January, 2020 at 8 a.m. Activity in the main crater in the past 24 hours has been characterized by weak to moderate emissions of white steam laden plumes 50 to 500 meters high from the main crater that drifted southwest. Sulfur dioxide emission was measured at an average of 224 tons per day. The Philippines Seismod Seismic Network plotted a total of 738 volcanic earthquakes since 1 p.m. January 12, 2020. 176 of these registered at magnitudes 1.2 to 4.1 and were, at, were felt at intensities 1 through 5 since 5 a.m. on January 20th, 2020. Until 5 a.m. today, there were seven volcanic earthquakes plotted that registered at magnitudes 1.2 to 2.7 with no felt events. For the past 24 hours, the Taal, the Taal Volcano Network which can, which can record small earthquakes detectable by the PSN, recorded 468 volcanic earthquakes, including four low-frequency earthquakes. Such intense activity likely signifies continuous magmatic intrusion beneath the Taal edifice, which may lead to further eruption activity. Alert level 4 still remains in effect over Taal Volcano. This means that hazardous explosive eruption is possible within hours to days. FIVOX strongly reiterates total evacuation of Taal Volcano, Volcano Island and high risk areas is identified in the hazardous mass within the 14 kilometer radius from Taal Main Crater and along the Pansipit River Valley where fishing has been observed based on Pagasa wind forecast. If the eruption plume remains below five kilometers, Ash will be drifted to the municipalities west and northwest of the main crater. However, if a major eruption occurs during the day and the eruption column exceeds 7 kilometers, ash will also be drifted over the western parts of Laguna and Quezon provinces. Residents around the volcano are advised to guard against the effects of heavy and prolonged ashfall. Civil aviation authorities must advise pilots to avoid the airspace around to Al Volcano as airborne ash and ballistic fragments from the eruption column pose hazards to aircraft. FIVLOX is continually monitoring the eruption and will update all stakeholders of further developments. So that's our latest update. We are <clears throat> hoping for the best, hoping that we can make it down there. Um, I don't know which you know route that they're taking, what direction they're taking. Uh, I'm just hopeful that we're able to make it down there, and we don't, you know, we don't head out at midnight tonight, only to be turned around and sent back to Manila. Uh, we'll see what happens. Ali Tagtag is just just south of Taal Lake, 
uh, as you can see on the map that I shown you that I showed you earlier. So I know that uh, the majority of the ash fall was north of the crater and not south, and that's probably why these evacuation centers are in the south because they didn't receive the ash fall that the north did. Um, we'll see. The only way to tell is uh, for us to go down there and vlog it for you guys to see, so you guys can see what happened. Um, we have. Uh, I'll show you the radar. We've got the radar all cleaned up. Although, I noticed some damage I didn't notice before. Look at this. Now that's, that was probably caused by running over some humps. We've got giant humps here and around North Caloocan and our subdivision, all the subdivisions around us. So anyway, that's what's going on with Philo in the Philippines. And we're going to vlog as much of it as we can. And uh, we'll be home on Sunday. We're leaving tonight at about uh, 10.30, 11 p.m. We're going to head over to Rush Riders uh, headquarters. And we're going to head down to Batangas. So we'll see We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And uh, that's what's going on, going on with us. And we'll see when we get back. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll give you an update on what's going on down there. And what it looks like in the areas that people have been evacuated to. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope everything goes well for us. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support.